Hi y'all, DL here, and we're back with another unboxing. I know I must look a hot mess, but I've been in bed most of the day fighting a migraine. So, we just got our fairy loot in, and I want to say this is December. I think fairy loot's fairly been on time, but I know a limo crate's been behind, bookish box's been behind. We'll find out in just a second, so... Sneak peek. It looks kind of full. And now I see what was wrong. Right now I was worried something was broken. So let's get some of our scribbles out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see some really good stuff. So this is December. Come one, come all. So, we clearly have a circus theme going on. So, this top piece I am super excited about. Every person has the power to change their fate if they are brave enough to fight for what they desire more than anything. Stephanie Garber, which is obviously Caraball. And it is a gorgeous book sleeve very well made. It's got this kind of cushy lining. I really like that. Fairy Loot has some of the nicest ones. The ones I really want. <sighs> I love these, but the one that I really want is from Illuma Creek. So I like how it wraps the book and you can still open it up with the cover on it. But these are great for like transporting them places, which I do a lot because I cart them back and forth to school, which by the way, I finished my schooling. I will graduate in April and I actually just got my transcript in yesterday. I went to go to the school board to go turn it in so I could get a pay raise. I looked online. I'm graduating with a 3.9. I'm so excited, but I can't even open it because I can't break the seal. I wanted to take a picture. So I went to the school board and I thought they were up until 4.30 and I got there at like 4.15 and well, I guess it's a Friday. Doors were locked. They were closed. It was like, Ugh. Our next item is a Face towel, which is obviously the Night Circus. Now, I have not read Caravelle or Night Circus, but they are on my TBRs. And this feels like just a, a basic little hand towel, like you'd or rag you'd use in the bathtub, but I really like it. It's, it's, the stitching's really well put in there. I mean, if you use face towels, it's a nice decorative face towel. So, the thing that was clanking that had me worried that something was broken were these beauties. So, we have a pair of bookends. It is a pair. Carousels. Now, these are beautiful the way they are. But I really wish it's something I might do just because I like the idea. I wish they would have painted them or maybe put some foiling on them just to make them pretty. Which I have a Cricut and I have foil so I might do that myself just to brighten them up because I like bright cheery things. But and chances are nobody's going to see them but me. Then again I might take them to school whenever I get my own classroom, because I am covering someone else's classroom right now. Very loose piece that fell off of them. Circus bookends. Let's see. So, all right, there should be two of these in here. They always come in twos. So, our next two mythology bookmarks, they're full, they're absolutely stunning. So, we have 
Aphrodite and Aries. And I love these. I never use them because I'm so afraid they're going to get damaged. Because they are just, they're stunning. I mean, look at them. The Arse is by Grace Z. Hewart. I know I'm probably butchering the name. H-U-A-R-T. And they are gorgeous. So our, ooh, yes, these are gorgeous. Our new tarot cards. Now, again, I have nothing to do with tarot cards. I think they're gorgeous. I don't know a thing about them. I admire those that do. I've got a daughter who absolutely loves them. So I'm saving them until I get a whole set. And then they will be hers. If it was me, I would put them in like frames and put them around. But I know some people be kind of turned off by that. I just, I don't know. It, it's not my thing, but I think they're gorgeous. And I absolutely love them just the way they are. And these are, let's see, Lei is the sun and Ren is the moon from Girls of Paper and Fire. Again, another one I have not read, but it is on my TBR. So our final thing, the book. Get it out of here and put the box down. I still haven't gotten rid of my Aluma Crate box. Ooh, the edges are stunning. So let's get our fairy scoop out. So next month's theme is going to be Hidden Worlds. In this box you can expect items inspired by the Stardust Thief, Stardust Thief We Hunt the Flame. Our featured book of the month. And there will be Fandom Neutral Items. We are thrilled to reveal that the Phantom Neutral item is the start of our new collectible, a secret hollowed out book. Ooh. So, we have our art print. And, of course, the author letters on the other side. There's usually a bookmark. Yes, I feel it in there. Which is, of course, just like the original print. So, i got to show you these edges. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Roses on Black. So, our book of the month, Cruel Illusions. I have actually heard of this book, have not read it, but, oh my gosh, ooh, I doubt you can see it, but there's actually a castle in there. Yes, I can see it whenever I aim the light just right, but in that black, there's like a gray castle. A deadly competition, a magical secret society, a chance for revenge. So we have some nice thin papers. We do not have a reversible dust jacket, which we're not guaranteed one, but there's our front end papers. There is our back end papers. We have very subtle, very kind of a reverse. The 
dust jacket was black with red on it and this one's red with black foiling kind of simple and we do have the author signature in the book this is actually absolutely stunning and I can't wait to read it I've got several books I'm reading right now and that seems kind of weird several the kids in my classes are like you can read more than one book at a time yeah got one beside the bed I got one that I take to the bathtub I got one to I usually keep in my bag that I took back up to school. And of course I got folks back here that off and on I'll pick up just anything. And I guess I need to stick with one book at a time then I would finish more books. But what can I say? I, I like to, <laughs> I like variety. So ever since a vampire murdered her mother, Ava has been determined to get revenge, but 10 years later, having survived foster home after foster home, and without a single sighting of a vampire, Ava has begun to lose hope. That is, until she stumbles across a hidden magic show where she witnesses impossible illusions. The magicians may not be the bloodsucker she's hunting, but Ava is convinced something supernatural is afoot. When she sneaks backstage and catch to catch them in acts they can't explain, the magicians reveal they're part of an ancient secret society that possesses true magic, and that Ava has the same power in her blood they do. If she joins them as their apprentice, they promise to give her the power she needs to avenge her mother. But there's a catch. If Ava wants to keep the magic they offer, she needs to prove she's worthy of it, and to do so, she must put on the performance of her life in a sinister and dangerous competition where illusion and reality blur and the only way out is to win or die. Harabelle meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer in this deliciously dark young adult fantasy from the author of Vampire Hearts and Other Dead Things. Yes, yes, yes. Can't wait. So, that is our December 2022 fairy loot. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, hit subscribe, click that notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And as always, y'all have a good day.